Hey guys, Basic Nerf here, and I'm here with my HPZ loadout uh, version 2.0. I'm calling it 2.0, not 1.5 or something, because it's gone through, I think, a fairly amount, a uh, fairly amount of good changes since my last uh, Summer Humans vs Zombies video loadout. So first off, we'll start with the primary. Instead of the Raven, it's now the Instruct Elite Strife. Um, I switched to it because the Raven was giving me a couple of problems. As you can see in these video clips being played here, oftentimes uh, the magazine wouldn't go up all the way. And as a result, the blaster wouldn't fire, or it would jam up and I couldn't fire it. Um, I decided to go with the Strife because it's new. And in testing, you know, it played great. A couple of jam issues, but if there was jams, it was the magazine's fault, not the blaster's fault. Um, more on the customization. I'm going with the Raider stock over the Retaliator stock because this can simply extend, you know, or go in. I like having options in my equipment and I like, you know, to be versatile. I'm going with the Retaliator grip, not just because it looks cool, because it gives me better horizontal left and right movement. Retaliator barrel for, you know, stability and better accuracy on my shots. I'll be running it at about 8.4 volts or two trust fire batteries. Three I found in my Nerf Wars during constant uh, usage just simply overheats the, therm the thermos, overheats the resistors and I can't use it. So I think 8.4 two truss fires is fine. Um, I've also jungle clipped two magazines because just in case I run out of ammo in one during a crucial moment, I just have to you know switch over real quick. And it's really easy, just boom, and you're in the game. Versus you don't have any drop it in my side, molly drop pouch, and then getting out another mag, and then inserting it here. You know, it's just, it's a lot of time. So, I'll just be playing it safe like that. Let's see, I've gone through, again, like I said, I've gone through numerous changes. I've gone through numerous changes, so next I'm gonna go with my magazines here. Now if you remember from my last video and my numerous Nerf War videos, the magazines are usually facing up. Actually I'm going to start switching them down now and that's because number one, I don't want to be running around and having, you know, darts be getting knocked off the top or misaligned and I try to load it in the blaster and they're misaligned, causes problems, causes jams, plus I might lose some darts. See, with this grip though, say, run out of ammo, okay. Drop the mag there, pull it out, they call this the beer can grip. Simply flick the wrist and then move the blaster towards it, and it's in, you're good to go, you're back in action. Drop the mag if I need to, like I said, and then grab it, flick it, put the blaster towards it, insert it, and you're back in. So that's a fairly simple method. I, I like still like popping it out more and just shoving it in. But, like I said, that will work just fine, too. Um, what else? My sidearm secondary is now the dart tag, snap fire, right? Had to import this sucker from Singapore. But, if you've seen in my gameplay videos, this thing, you know, tears up in close quarters. Eight shots versus the Spectre's five. Um, Semi-automatic. Switching between speed and power gives me different options, gives me a good rate of fire take elite darts, so I'm pretty happy with this so far. Um, let's see, the molly dump pouch, still here, still on my side. I've duct taped the back of it actually, just so um, I noticed that I don't use it a lot because, oh well, my Nerf Wars, because it's just kind of hard to dump stuff into there. I have to flip open the, the flap and you know, drop the mag in there and make sure it falls in there. Um, I just simply duct tape the flap back, that way I can just drop in stuff. 18 dart mag can drop in just fine, you know what I mean? So, just simple duct taping the back, the flap down, that was a, a huge improvement. Again, got the socks here, and socks, very important. They saved my life last game two, three times, as you can see in this video being played here, when the Raven simply wouldn't fire and had problems. Um, right pocket over here, this lined up being my spare whatever pocket. Last game during the summer. I stuck my spare GoPro batteries in there. I stuck spare batteries in there for my Raven. I had a screwdriver in there. I'll probably throw some gum in there too. So you know, this Condor 7 pocket chest rig. Still proving its use after all these months. Um, 
again, cell phone slash radio pocket, putting my cell phone in there, a radio or whatever. And, you know, everything's still fairly centralized, everything's still fairly close to the body. Fire with a strike if I need to, drop it, so if you just pull up, pull up the snap fire eight, and I'm good to go. Um, yeah, I think I've improved it by a bit. Um, at the same time, I know this isn't a molly uh, chest rig sort of thing. So it's kind of limited by a little bit, but at the same time, Condor has made a good, fairly useful product. That's very versatile, in my opinion, and it gives you some good options still. So I'm just going to stick with it, and uh, we'll see where it goes from here, guys. Wish me good luck. Um, I'm head organizer of this Camarillo Humans vs. Zombies game tomorrow, and there's another game the Sunday after that, so I've got two different games to go to. You guys will be getting plenty of HVZ footage. Um, follow my YouTube channel during the game, or tomorrow for, you know, live updates. I'll be vlogging from my cell phone, uploading in that 4G connection. And, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed my new loadout video. If you have any tips or criticisms, feel free to let me know. And you guys have a good day.